The Yuzura draft video is never coming out and the bodies in the basement are growing weary. I SEE ONION! The voices are telling me I need to make mid normie content and so it shall be. I have perfectly crafted the ultimate normie video, a top 10 mixed with a tier list. As an absolute titan of YouTube, I have all the qualifications to create the ultimate dead YouTuber tier list. Now what are the ground rules? A channel has to be in the zeros and negatives for over a year. And if this rule isn't followed, I made the fucking rules. I can end them just as quickly. Now hush before you join the souls in the basement. First off, we have a pioneer of the dying channel genre. Jim Sterling, who is actually Jessica Sterling or some shit. I don't know. He hasn't changed his YouTube name. But don't you fucking dare misgender him. It's Jessica. It man. Or maybe not. He finds his way on this list by building his channel on the basis of siding with the consumer and then repeatedly siding with censorship and calling the consumers bigots if they don't agree with him. Despite him trying to pin his channel's decline on his transition, even though the channel was dying well before that, he has innovated by celebrating lost milestones. Being at the cusp of a million subscribers and then being dragged down to 900,000 and then 800,000. I would say the only solace he could have is his rapidly oncoming death. But then in a thousand years, his bones will be examined and... You know, a rank, a strong first contender. Huh? He is even on the cusp of an S. I know you'll like that sound effect with my lispy voice. Considering his wrestling career, since he has become a beautiful woman, he could potentially go against women as a 500 pound clumsy orf. And when that does happen and he massours a woman, he will be raised to an S. If it has already happened, I can't find it. As much like his YouTube videos, nobody watches his wrestling. Moving on, we have iDubs. I'm gay. This one just makes me sad. I remember the glory days of self-proclaiming I was gay in high school and calling my friends nigger faggots. But now it just doesn't hit the same way. I would put him in D, however, he has managed to run a charity scam twice, in a row, possibly followed by a third time with a live stream, and he reintroduced me to Hitler's top guy, so he is at least a B. Look at him, all grown and matured. Third in line for people who will soon perish on this list. And also third on the list is H3H3 Productions. Once a great sage known as Jordan Peterson Go to Albania! warned Mr H3 that maybe courting an audience of far leftists and pushing away his previous viewers wasn't a good idea for a Jewish man whose wife served in the IDF. He responded by collaborating with Hassan Piker. You know, it's a bold strategy. Let's see if it pays off for him. I'm not like a fucking great. I'm not a sensitive Jew. His consistent failure is amusing and depressing at the same time. See, now this one still hurts. Alchop. This is an actual dead channel and is indeed losing subscribers. The lore is two friends decided to leave a previous content creator group because it had become a business and not just friends collaborating. They then decided to turn the new group into a business. One broke his leg and quit, and the other carried the decaying corpse of the channel until the lease on their unit was up. A for effort, they died instead of becoming the villain, which is more than the rest of these people can say. Belle Delphine. Look, she isn't in the negatives, but she's in the zeros, which is as bad as it gets for an e-girl. Pokimane could slaughter an orphanage, and the only change would be I start liking her. Belle has entered her bi-yearly hibernation, and hopefully will find her father and start a new path. But in her time, she left a great legacy. I would liken her to Moses, as she created two great oceans. An ocean of views for clickbaity videos, and an ocean of blood rushing to my penis. Easy S. I would do anything for her to step on my toes. Moving on, we have the White House and the reason why YouTube removed the dislike feature. Formerly known as the Black House and the Orange House respectively, 
now is headed by a Dimension pedo who definitely didn't win the F for Who mad? Now, I missed this guy's entire career. He fell down once, dunked on Hassan Piker, and then Twitter said he was a paedophile, so it must be true. He's in C. However, he got to hit it, and I did not. So F for From one nice individual garnering generational envy recently, to another, we have Will Smith. <laughs> D for Cook. Now we have a lesser known entry, known as Vote Saxon 7 Why is his channel dying? He murdered a woman. A. Finally, we have Moist Critical. Now his channel is not dying. In fact, it is booming. But a man can dream. E for dysfunctional. You have been deceived. This is actually a top 11. Because here, we like to go one above and beyond, or whatever the fuck Doug Walker used to say. For the next entry, we have Pippa the Ripper Pipkin. Her channel is not dying, however it will be if she does not accept her place as my waifu. I'm coming for you Pippa, in two senses of the word. Wow, what a great video script. I sure hope in the editing of this video someone I put in it doesn't fucking die. Rest in peace too mad, you died doing what you loved. Playing a really shitty game.